Friday the 12th of July 2024. Good morning everyone. This morning's devotional is a reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 4, reading verses 25 through to verse 27 and they read, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths for your feet and take only ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. The saying goes, those who cannot remember the past are doomed to repeat it. That's very true, but that's also only part of the story. You can learn a lot by looking at your past, but you cannot heal those most pervasive and costly wounds in your life by focusing only on your past. To defeat those giants, you have to look ahead. All too often, we try to find healing by looking in our rear view mirrors. When we do that, we're more likely to crash than heal. Have you ever wondered why a car's windscreen is bigger than the rear view mirror? Well, if not, think about it. You will notice that the windscreen is considerably bigger than the rear view mirror for one simple reason. You need to be focused on your route and not on the way that you've just come. So here are some helpful tips that we could avoid, that we could use to avoid concentrating on the rear view mirror of our life. Number one, put your heart right. You do what's right. No matter what the other person does, it's always right to forgive those who have hurt you. Number two, reach out to God. Allow Him to intervene and to work in your life. But you need to open your entire life to Him, not just little rooms or sections, the other ones that are <laughs> we think is a no-go to God. God knows everything about us. So open, you, open yourself to Him. Number three, face the world again. Don't hide in a shell or withdraw so that you won't get hurt again. Move forward. Learn to live again. Your past is not your future. It doesn't matter what you've done or who you've done it with or even how long you've done it. Throughout Scripture, God forgives murderers and adulterers and He uses them to do His work in the world. My dear friends, you have a great future ahead of you. Put your heart right, reach out to God and face the world again. And then let God do something incredible through you. May the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.